What's going on guys? Coach Matt and you go pro baseball.com here again with the man Dustin Geiger nuclear baseball 180 performance center here just north of Austin, Texas. If you're ever in town, come check them out. But in this video, what I like to do is pick the brains of the guys who know a lot of stuff. And this man knows a lot about hitting, but I wanted to find out some unique, really unique hitting drills, but that that really promote huge upside and success with some players. So Dustin's got four super unique hitting drills that he's gonna take us through and, and why he likes them and explain them. So check it out. Absolutely guys. So we're gonna jump right into it. I wouldn't necessarily categorize these as hitting drills, but more movement drills. Again, most of the drills that we do are gonna be movement based. I need you to get a feel. If you can get a feel through a drill, we're able to apply it in the game uh, into our swing. That's where that's actually gonna come out into play. Okay, so the first thing, I got the what's that strap. That's literally the name of it. What's that strap? But if we look at it, right? Just here, we got it connected to a uh, just to a band. You can connect it to a functional trainer like a Kaiser machine or a, a weight stack or whatever you need to do to create that resistance. But two things, we're gonna talk about how do you get in the hinge and how do you get out of your hinge. And we're gonna do that through an assisted move with the what's that strap and our band here connected to the wall. Okay, so first things first, how you get into it is super crucial. We're gonna face where the anchor point is. I'm a right-handed hitter. So my left arm is gonna go in to the what's that strap itself. Kind of in this situation right here. Now I'm gonna rotate into the band. We rotate into the band, rotate all the way around. Now I'm in this position, okay? From there, just grab a piece of PVC pipe. You can do it with, a, with holding a bat. You can do it, I like to do it on the shoulders so that we just kind of lock that position in. You can get a good feel for what your line, alignment is with your shoulders in this drill, okay? Treat the anchor point as the pitcher. So we're gonna be in this position, and all we're gonna do is treat it like a pitcher, we're gonna load, okay? Once we load, we're gonna feel this band, kind of pull your torso down and pull this back hip into external rotation and get you into an athletic position, okay? So we can do it two ways, we're pulled into the hinge, and then you can go through the rotation process of it like we're going to attack the baseball, right? Get your bat on plane, feel your back shoulder drive through, right there, just like that. Now we're, we go from an assisted hinge to a resistant swing. All right, so we take that drill, we can do that six, seven, eight times, whatever we need to do before we hop in the box to take our normal swings. It's a good prep for the movement, it's a good stretch, uh, it's a good building block. Next one we're gonna do, we're gonna go uh, assisted. So we put right arm in, again, rotate into the band. All right, now the little bit of difference here is your, uh, your pitcher changes. We move to the other side. Now the anchor point is behind you, now we are uh, resisted, we're trying to be pulled open, and we need to make sure that we can get engaged into our load, into our gather. So the pitcher's out there, resist that band, now I'm in my good hinge position, and now how do I get out of it? Now I have an assisted release of my swing, or uh, an assisted turn. So we'll go here again, pitcher's out there, nice little gather, it's gonna be resisted right here, it's trying to rip me back, and then when we go simulate like we're gonna make contact with the baseball right there, we rotate through to our contact point. Okay, making sure that you stay balanced and athletic all the way through this um, while being pulled in different directions is gonna be huge. All right, so those are two things, two sides of one drill with the what's that strap. How do we get in the hinge? How do we get out of the hinge? Okay, next thing we're gonna go through, a little unique, it's called the Rotex. All right, so we're gonna move over to here. It's, a, it's called, you can get this at uh, rotexmotion.com. Okay, all of it is, is a rotational trainer. Something that we're gonna brace up against the wall over here that uh, we're gonna work on elbow slot and shoulder slope. Okay, so once we get in here, I want you to get in your normal position, normal hitting position. This Rotex is gonna be vertical. The handle will be vertical right here. It's pretty much off the line of your right shoulder. Okay, two hands on, just like we're having a, uh, just like we're holding the baseball bat, kind of like a Cunha, straight up and down. Okay, so we're right in here. We'll go from your load, from your, your normal setup position, we'll go into the load. When we go into the load, we're gonna turn this handle slightly forward. That's gonna kind of be our, our engaging of our, of our scat back here. And just how do we settle down into it? So we'll feel that settle. And then the next piece of it is gonna be a hip rotation. Disassociating your upper and lower body. So we go load, hips turn. And then from there, notice my shoulder angle, slightly downhill, just like what I would have in my normal swing, or my normal load. From there, I'm gonna feel this elbow slot and I'm gonna feel my shoulders start to slope uphill, slightly uphill. So we'll take it from the top. We got normal setup, we got load, hip load, barrel load, hips turn, elbow slot, shoulder slope. 
okay? Be careful with this with guys that like to drop the barrel, but everybody else feeling, when we focus on what it's for, elbow sliding, shoulders rotating, or shoulders getting on plane, we're gonna be able to build off of it. One more time here, put it all together. You can do this in variations. You can do it in three pieces, you can do it one by one, you can put it all together, okay? Kind of like a, a full flow of your swing. So we can go the full flow, back shoulder again, athletic position, we'll load, hip turn, go. Do that a couple times, load, turn and go, and we can kind of get more rhythmic with it. Boom, and go. Just how do we flow through that, making sure that we have space for that elbow to get in the slot. Okay, that's kind of a unique drill we like to do here at Nuclear Baseball at 180 Performance Center. Fourth drill, I guess, is gonna be the med ball rotation drill. Okay, when we talk about where the bat turns, or early connection is a big thing when we talk about our blast score. Uh, bat has to turn behind you, we're trying to get it turned at 90 degrees. One thing I like to make sure, we eliminate the drift with the possibility of this drill. The drift happens when that heel hits the ground and your hips make a forward move. With this wall up against you, if you go through a forward move or a drift forward, hands hit the wall. It's not, not a fun time for anybody, okay? So, I guess this is a double-sided drill. Don't hit your hands in the wall. Make sure this ball rotates behind you while you're engaging your front hip. Set up for the drill. It's gonna to be to your launch position or your fully stride position. We'll get out there. Hands are already gonna be back in slot. So, where we created that separation with the Rotex, now we're gonna preset that separation with the med ball. The med ball is gonna be slightly below your shoulder. Foot up again, foot up against the wall. So hips are engaged, straight up and down, hand on each side, okay? I'm using a four pound cushioned med ball. Cushion, okay? Don't use this with the, with the rubber ball that's gonna hit and ricochet back if you don't wanna wear one in the eye. All right, so hands on the outside. As the hip opens, as your front hip starts to open, this is right after heel strike, the ball is gonna turn behind your back shoulder. This is gonna be just like when you're hitting. Remember, we don't want everything to be one piece trying to jump forward to go get the baseball. Sequence. Your hands are the last thing to go forward in your swing, but they're also what it takes to rotate, to get your bat into plane, or get your bat behind you, going behind you, accelerating behind you, get on plane early and get through the ball. So, hands are back in slot. As the hip opens, the ball rotates, and then your torso is going to bring your hands forward, and we want that ball to go straight off and come straight back. I'll do it in slow motion for you, and then we'll throw it into fast motion. So it's slow, boom, turn, straight back. Notice the separation I got here. Pretty much in the center of my body, maybe slightly behind my center. Good turn, forward move, okay? Second time through that, once we get that good feel and we're, we're comfortable and we're making sure our hand isn't hitting the wall, we can go a little bit faster. So, same setup position, hips are loaded, hands are back in slot, turn and throw that thing against the wall, okay? If we followed the camera there, that ball goes straight back. That means that we went straight forward with the ball. If that ball ricochets away, so if that ball were to go over to the right side right there, there's a good chance you jumped up forward. Notice if you jump up forward and you go to, and you go to throw it, that's the only place you can go. It'll be there to there, and the ball will ricochet up to the corner of the wall. If you were to lean back and cut your hands across, I'm not gonna demonstrate it because I'm gonna wear it in the face, okay? But if you were to lean back and, and throw it this way, now you're missing your target right back at you. So, do hand direction, turn the barrel behind you, early connection, okay? All those drills are stuff that my guys do before they even get in the cage to make sure their body's moving right, they're stretched, and they're ready to go. Super cool, never seen any of those. Actually, I, <laughs> I have seen the, that one, but it was on your Instagram. <laughs> Speaking of, tell them where they can find you, your Instagram, all that good stuff. Absolutely, guys. So my Instagram, Nuclear Baseball, the facility's Instagram, 180 Performance Center, and then find us at 180performancecenter.com. Set up our assessments to where our membership stuff is. Everything's ready to drop. Come see us in Austin, Texas, whenever you guys are in town. We'll get you to be the best you can be. Drop down in the comments below. Let us know which of these four hitting drills is your favorite, or movement drills, I should say. Movement drills. Movement drills is your favorite, and uh, we'll hop down there and, and chat about them. Thank you so much for watching, Dustin. Thank you so much. Thanks, John. Take care, y'all.